This is Kuhn Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Dubai, head of Dubai's Rising Star show, put on by D4G Promotions this Friday night, live on ESPN and IFL TV. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. One and O. That's not going to be your name as you go on in your career, Jamie, but yeah, <laughs> Jamie King. Um, yeah, so I suppose first question is, how did you wind up on this show? Um, well, I think, yeah, obviously I've won my first fight um, in a 16-second KO, so, you know, it's, it's exciting times and I think people want to see sort of potential, that power, right? So, and I sell tickets. <laughs> Always a good combination. Yeah, no false illusions, right? I sell tickets, so it obviously helps, but... Um, no, there is a bit of skill there as well, right? It's not it's not just all luck, but and there's definitely a lot of power, so um, two things that people want to see, right? Absolutely. Uh, as the announcer said in there, your clip did go viral for your 16-second knockout, but I kind of liked your reaction to it because your reaction to it is you didn't gain any confidence for it because you questioned the level of the opponent, yeah. I suppose, yourself. To be grounded and not to get carried away with something like that is is probably part of you. Yeah, 100%. Obviously... I enjoyed the moment. It was it was great, right? You'd probably tell that by the celebration. But I think a couple of days after the fight, I had to sort of take a step back and you know just look at the level of my opponent. Um, and yeah, and stay grounded, right? I've, there's so many better people out there than that. That you know it'd be harder to land them shots on better opponents. So it's more about now just boxing, finding that shot, not looking for that shot. You know, not just going out looking for a knockout. You know, sticking to my boxing. I do have a sort of amateur pedigree. I'm not just you know, off the street, so I know how to box and that's what I try and do this fight. Give us a little background from kind of your time in the UK to your time here now in Dubai. How did it all cross over? So I fought, fought in the amateurs when I was young until I was about 16. Um, and then I sort of moved out here when I was sort of 19 and I've just been in and out of the sport and sort of unlicensed shows. Um, I'd just fight and then go put on a load of weight and I just didn't take it serious, I weren't consistent. Um, and I think at the beginning of this year, I just sort of thought, oh, you know, I take a stab at going pro. Um, I was around the right people like Aaron and so forth of this promotion, um, and they they just matched me right. And then after that, after that fight, I've teamed up with Paul Weir, two-time world champion, as my coach. So I just think people have seen me taking myself seriously, and then started taking me seriously as well, right? So just consistency has got me here. So and um, after this fight, I'll do exactly the same. I just start training again. Not so. I just want to be ready for any show, right? Yeah, I mean, I was going to ask about that. Obviously, Paul Weir is based in Dubai. Obviously, yeah, as you said, uh, two-time world champion, um, hanging around with Billy Nelson, which is a rare sight just to see those two <laughs> walking around together in the middle of Dubai. Uh, what I was going to ask you, you mentioned in that press conference about the kind of people kind of you sparred. You know, I don't know how recently, but over a space of time in your career, who, who are those people that you've sparred and gained experience from? Um, I think recently in this one, um, I was sparring a guy called Dennis, who recently went to the Olympics for for Bahrain. Um, <laughs> landed some good shots on me, cut me. Um, but yeah, I think that that was the sort of level. We've done some sparring with Ryan there, who was in the presser as well. So, you know, that's for me. You know, if you're going to the Olympics, you know, obviously you got the better of me. I'm not going to sit there and deny that, right? But it, it, that's what got my confidence that if I can sit sit in the ring with people like this then you know, I can do it with the level of people I'm about to fight. And obviously Ryan's got sort of 25-odd pro fights. So that's the level of people that allow me to sort of gain my confidence. You're probably one of the most honest talking boxers I've ever interviewed in terms of everything. Like, just an example there on the spa, like a lot of people just say, yeah, you know, I held my own because the sparring story is usually kept in the gym. And if you were to say, I, I held my own, no one's going to kind of dispute that. But the fact that you're kind of honest about that and also about that 16 second KO, just, yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a good way to be, I think. Yeah, I think there's no point lying about it, right? I've, I've, <laughs> I've been back in the sport eight months and I know that if I just stay consistent, the stories I tell you about sparring would be different, you know. I got the better, I got the better, better of them and stuff like that. So at the moment, you know, they've been training adamantly for years on years on years. So if I just stay consistent, you know, I keep learning. I know I've got knockout power, one punch knockout power. So that that teamed with consistency, you know, will get me where I want to be. Well, Jamie, thank you very much for giving IFL TV some of your time. We'll de definitely grab a word view after your fight on Friday night. Like I said, live on ESPN, but if you're watching back home in the UK, it'll be on IFL TV. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Uh, no, thank you for interviewing me. I feel like I've made it <laughs> on <laughs> IFL TV. <laughs> Come on, the boys. <laughs>
I just hold the camera. You're the fighter. Remember <laughs> that one. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, best of luck on Friday. We'll grab a word of you after. Top man. Yeah.